Hey everybody, I am in, where am I? I'm in San Francisco. You're close, so close to San Francisco. <laughs> so close to San Francisco. Sorry, I've been traveling all day today. Can you tell? This is what it looks like when you travel on the plane all day. Actually, it wasn't all day, but. Well, it's like. It's more like humid that. here. Yeah. It's definitely, it's a lot more humid here. Who am I with? Who is it that I'm talking with? Who Kate is it? Richmond. Here I am. Hey, everybody. So, oh my gosh. So Kate, I'm actually in town for the week she doing is. a couple of fun different things, yes. which you guys will learn about later. So I actually, for, I totally created a, a weekend jewelry school, like have it all edited and everything. Guess who forgot to upload it? That would be me. So you guys get a couple live videos this week while I'm here working on other jewelry things. It works out for me, Melissa Muir. Good deal. <laughs> so what I did, um, I, I came straight from the airport over here to Kate's and we're gonna go to dinner. But first, you guys, you have to check out this, this studio. She just opened it. Um, I'm gonna flip this around. Yeah. So okay. we're gonna have a little bit of an interview with you, Miss Kate. Oh, I love that part. <laughs> All right, so how long have you been here? Because you just got here. Yeah, so we're right here um, in uh, our offices at beadshop.com. Um, you know, Bead Shop is where um, I started my jewelry career. Some of you guys know way back, way back uh, in 1992. Melissa, you were like three, maybe. No, I was in I high was school. Like, I was like five. Right? God, I was in high school, five. at least. Come on. Totally. <laughs> so, um, so I was here. Uh, we had a bunch of stores and everything here in the Bay Area. And I was there for 10 years. And then I broke free and had my store up in San Francisco and did all kinds of fun stuff and taught and went over to our buddies at beeducation.com and have come full circle. And so for the past three years, I've been back here at beadshop.com. So um, our founder, Janice Parsons, Janice is uh, on the East Coast now and we're humming right along right here in, uh, in Redwood City, California. So as Melissa said, we uh, just moved to a new space. Many of you know that I had my teaching studio in South San Francisco here. Well, we've combined forces, so beadshop.com and Kate Richburg Jewelry Educator are all under one roof, and what a roof it is. And so we're standing in the middle of my teaching studio that's in the middle of beadshop.com. Okay. All right, you guys, all right, first of all, you all know how ADD I am, and so you also know <laughs> that when I do live videos, it's all completely off the cuff, so you get what you get on this. But sitting here in her studio, it is so inspiring because you know what? Kate is every bit as ADD as I am. Wait, squirrel. Yeah, squirrel? What? <laughs> it's so bad. So what I wanted to do is really show you guys a couple of different things I want to show you. And I'm, I'm sorry if I don't catch all of your guys' comments. So hello. Hello, everybody. I got it here on the chat. Pepe Tools just jumped in. Yes, they, I just uh, saw that. Forge. Hey, Pepe, I got to show you something. <laughs> right, saying, David, don't judge me. Don't we need we, me. we need to change this. I know, we will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I want to show you guys. Yes. Look at how organized she is. I need her to come and sit in my studio and help me organize my place because so everything it, I know you can't really see this, but look, it's all labeled. Is. Everything is labeled and it's organized. See, I have a lot of things that Kate does because I also teach. So I also have a gazillion. Like multiples, right? Oh, yeah. Things, right? Pepe Tools is in Lisbon right now. I, I was going to say, I want to be in Lisbon, but I don't want to be in Lisbon. I want to be right here yeah, where I'm at right now. Well, it would be fun to be in Lisbon. It would be kind so of fun. So one of the things, you know, you guys, that Melissa and I were chatting about earlier, and I think that we wanted to share with you on this little impromptu broadcast is that I know a lot of you don't actually teach, but a lot of you do produce. And, you know, regardless of what size your studio is, if it's huge and spacious or, you know, smaller on a smaller scale, um, I struggle all the time about, I know like sometimes you do, Melissa, and I know how sometimes you guys do who are watching, with like keeping my brain organized and focused on one thing right? Because we're super busy, we're doing this project, this project, this video, this demo, all that stuff. So when I was shooting the photos for my second book, my buddy Mary said to me, she said, they're coming to shoot in your studio, we've got to make this place A, look like you work in it, 
B, look interesting, and C, we've got to find homes for all this crap we have. <laughs> and I'm all, okay. <laughs> help me. Yeah, yeah, my things don't have homes right, yet. <laughs> right? But I think that's the secret to everything. So this is, so that was almost four years ago. And so these boxes still um, are from that great studio reorg. And so my studio in South totally City- Totally never enough room. When, never enough room. That's never. Stu my studio in South City, when I packed it up, I packed it up and then unpacked it in almost the same way. And so you can see everything, even if it's just as simple as plastic gloves, needle files, file brushes, you know, here's decorative flat wire. Oh, I have a whole box of it. But at least when I look at it, I can go, okay, that's where that stuff is. And then I use, and um, my colleague Cara in the other room is going to start laughing. We love pegboard here at Bead Shop. Have you seen right? my wall of hammers? Right, right, your wall of hammers, mm -hmm. right? And so I feel like um, having everything up so I can see it. This still needs a little bit of work. I'm not super happy with this. But if we turn over here, we look at... Here's my wall of hammers, Phil Fritz. We you guys, were, we look what she did with yeah, her hammers. I did, I drilled them. That's perfect. So if y'all don't have like the room that I have to do your wall of hammers, mm -hmm. this is a perfect idea. And I just drilled them right in my drill press and just hung them up so I can see them. And these, I have my like two tiers of frets, right? Like these are ones that I use, but I don't use them often enough to have them at my work at the bench. Today. And then I just made, this is just a very inexpensive yeah, check um, this out. Harbor Freight um, anvil, but I made a little um, stump of my own. How and smart is this? Put right handles so I can move it around. And then I just got some belting. Um, and I usually have some rulers hanging off of there. You can see this one. My plastic mallet hangs off of there as well. Perfect. So, you know, it's my, my hammers, my beloved hammers. Some are just old that I don't use that much, but I like to have around me, right? My good old rock hammer. This was my little brand's rock hammer. That nice. When I was a little girl, we used to go and look at, get rocks from out of the ground. Okay, and before I show you guys other mm -hmm. tools, let me show you guys this. So every Wednesday and Friday. Every Wednesday and Friday. At 10? 10.30. 10.30. Uh, 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. She does a live broadcast. And these are all of the different things she makes in those live broadcasts. Mm -hmm. And so she'll do the project, but then she also gives you all of the resources. So she'll give you a list of all the materials and everything. It keeps going. Yeah, Look at this. It, keeps, it going. keeps going. So we call this our wall of fame. You know, these are really projects that we, um, over probably the last... 10 years and beyond even that we've created at beadshop.com. Um, some of these hail from when I was at Beadshop the first time. Many of these are made by our founder Janice, by former employees like Brittany Ketchum, um, Nicole Anderson, who has since passed on, has, was really a great designer. A lot of our staff designers, our webmaster Karen is a great beater. Kara does a lot of great things. So it really is a group effort when we put out projects like this. Um, some of you who watch us on Facebook also know Emily Miller, my cohort. Um, so a lot of these are um, yeah, really, there we go. There we go. Really, um, fun group projects that we can then go back to again and again. But again, with this pegboard, right? I was really struggling with a way to keep our archive so it's up, so I can see it, so I can be inspired by it. So having like, you know, all of our bracelets. I mean, look, at this is our pathways design. Look at how many of these darn pathways cuffs we have, but at least they're here and I can see, oh, we already have these colorways. So if I were to do this again, I can make some intelligent color decisions and not repeat. Um, so that's so that's what I did with that, right? Just a little bit of hanging up so I can see it and be inspired by it. I love it. And then Isn't over that cool? here, um, I've kind of done things by stations. So not only can I move around and go from station to station, like my hammering station, Here's the drilling station, right, with my drill press. I've got my Dremels here ready to go. So it's kind of all here, so when students or me, when I come and drill, it's all in one area, right? And this, again, with the pegboard, easy to put up. Um, and then I just kind of like to group like tools by like tools. Here's those, you know, those... Um, the dim are dimpling the pliers, ones? yeah, and some step pliers, and then my beloved <clears throat> nylon jaw pliers. And so it just... 
you know, I just try and keep things by station. Here's the, my, again, my beloved jewel tool station right there with everything here. And then if I have more, I've got the fluff shafts and stuff that go on here. But, you know, again, grouping all of the shears and stuff together. Right. And then you work okay. over here then. So we've got, look at this. Yeah. You guys, look at how she's organized this. Brilliant. My beloved, my beloved high press, hydraulic press, I love you so. But see, again, all of this is connect. And David, I know you're watching from Pepe. Here's my old, my beloved. See, this is newer than mine. Like mine, I don't have the no, twist no, down I knob. Have, I, have I, think the it's small, over, I have the small ones. Yeah, it's over that the have other no end. Twist, yeah, that have no twist downs. Yeah. But um, the small ones, the five-fold ones. Right, right, right. And then my, yeah, my, just, you Look know, at this. all together there. Yep, my stamps all here. Is this not brilliant? Look at this. Yep. So they're all housed by... Um, and you all thought I had a lot of I tools. Thought, well, you know, again, I've been doing this... <laughs> That's true, okay. ...since 90, um, since 94. So what you're telling me then is oh, that I actually really have a serious problem because I'm catching up. You are. And yeah. um, I haven't true. been doing it that long. No, it is true. <laughs> It is true. And so, yeah, so this is all in my, um, all in, right here at Bead Shop. So it's all kind of in the middle of our of, Donna, we can totally space. hook you up. Yeah. And I so mean, just here's all. You're at the Tool Junkie place. Kim Crawford, how long have I been doing this? Let's see. <laughs> so as an actual doing it, doing it, I started um, when my 12-year-old was a baby and that was like when I very first started started mm -hmm. and uh she's like I said she's now 12 wow. but I've really only been um acquiring tools at the rate that I am probably in the last what uh eight years because Kiari was a baby when I started mm -hmm. doing tool time Tuesday yeah. as a video series so this is what I'm showing you guys now. This is actually her working station. Yeah. So this is where she does her magic with all of this stuff. Um, so yeah, so I, I would say that like Tool Time Tuesday, because that was when I did uh, my tool reviews like for yeah. my hydraulic press. The pre yeah, I watched, and stuff like I watched that. those. Those were great. Thanks, yeah. And so I do a lot of, so see, Look this is I love just how a this little, is raised up. yeah, this That's is cool. a shelf from, I think one of my kilns, but you could go okay. to like, um, I don't know, the steel, the right. fabrication guy, and it's just, you just bend need it a break around and a bend bit. it, right? Yeah. Right. And so, um, so I did that so I could put, when I'm soldering or whatever, I can put things under here too, and I can have two levels. That, so that is such a really smart well. idea. I really like and that. And then just a, you know, a, a tile. And then in here, these little guys, I just got these at the, I don't oh, know, smart. some vintage place or whatever. But so I have my, um, sandpaper. my sandpaper there. And then I have like, you know, my floss stuff, a few things that go in there or in there, but you know, for stone setting. Right. And then I've got in this one, I've got all my solder and stuff here. Oh, smart. And then this guy holds all of my beloved, you know. Oh yeah, those different little dies. different dies and stuff. Ones kind of specialized like shop ones, yeah, and... shop plates and things that I okay. like. Okay, and then um, I try and keep this as clutter free as I can. And so when I'm done, and it helps a lot because my studio is also in the middle of our business, right? So my colleagues also have to kind of work around in here, and we gather at the class tables and stuff for lunch and things like that. So. I don't want things to look messy. I want it to be But Would this not be an amazing view if you're sitting here working? <laughs> right. Check that out. And you know what, Kate, you're yeah. like me. I like pretty. Yeah. I like it to be pretty. Yeah. So my my studio, I, I should add some color. Like I've added color with my hydraulic presses and yeah. stuff, but mine's not as cohesive. Mine's black and silver. Yeah. <laughs> That's like mine. That. I like that splash of red. But I like, I yeah, I like... Yeah. I like, you know, and it's funny because people are like, why do you need a red hydraulic press? Well, I have a purple one and I have a hot pink one. Yeah. So I have Barbie and Violet right. is what my girls have called mine. And so why not? Right? But not only that, it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. And some of us, some of us just like pretty tools. Yes. And I'm one who likes my tools really pretty. Yeah. So... My tools don't look like they get used, but they get used very oh, well. Yeah. They are just extremely well maintained. Yeah. 
And that's your trick. <laughs> no, I think it's awesome. And then you can see here, Melissa, I just got cup hooks. And this is a table I got at Ikea. And then I just hang, so these are my frets hammers that are in constant rotation. This, of course, my chasing hammer. Right. And then the small chasing hammer that I use a lot for stone setting. Mm -hmm. And then just some other hammers that I picked up along the way that I love. And fire extinguishers. Uh, right, my Check fire that. extinguisher. I've got three. Yeah, I think here. I've got four or five yeah, in my studio. In my studio, it's super important. Mm -hmm. um, All over the place. Yeah, but then um, the rest of that block of wood that was from where my um, anvil was, I have it here so I can, because I'm short, so I put my feet on. That's smart. Right? So, so you know what? Those of you guys who have small studio spaces, I want to address that. So I started out just like everybody else, kind of on the kitchen table mm -hmm. and, you know, next to the kitchen sink or whatever else like that. You don't have to have a big space. Mm -hmm. And the only reason my space is big and probably the only reason Kate's space is big, obviously Kate has more going on. I don't have a whole bead shop. The reason my space is big is because I teach. Mm -hmm. If it was just for me and I just needed to use something yeah. like a little 10 by 10 room or an 8 by 10 room, okay, not for me anymore <laughs> because, but, but because I'm like the tool yeah. junkie that I am. But to start out and to actually produce, that's really all you need. Yeah. I mean, you look at jewelers and they do all of their work right there on their bench and so they get creative with how they set up like their flag shaft and their torch and they've got their saws their or you know their files mm -hmm. are organized and so a lot of times because they are not going to be changing their their space they might change their jeweler's bench so right now you guys saw that i've got that um that little jeweler's bench and it has just the three little the three little drawers, that's not enough. Come on, three drawers. <laughs> so so obviously you have to kind of get creative with that space, but like even just me sitting here in, in Kate's studio to see how she has things organized and how everything has their little home, I love it. So I, I think I might have some cleaning and organizing gonna happen in my studio. And obviously I'll share my efforts with that well, I once I get back. I think it's all a journey, you know. So I'll tell you guys, when I closed my store, I had a big classroom space, it was larger than this in my San Francisco store. After I closed my store and I went to work for uh, my buddy Lisa at beachocation.com, I didn't have a studio space. So a lot of this stuff was in storage. And um, in my home, my bedroom was pretty big. So I partitioned off half of my bedroom and my first book, Simple Soldering, that's the studio I used to write that first book. So it's not the size, I think, of the space. As long as you're comfortable in your own space and it's organized to the best of your ability, um, and if it works for you, that's the most important thing, right? And quite honestly, how many of you guys have seven torches and have 15 <laughs> files right. and three, three bench vices and three hydraulic presses? You don't, right? So I don't even have three hydraulic presses. Well, okay, I have four. Have <laughs> because you know, tiny. Yeah, four. Yeah. You know, you gotta have a few, right? Well, and you teach. <laughs> See, the teaching game is different than the joy making game, for sure. And so, as an instructor, you have to gather all of this stuff because you don't want your students waiting around to use like, oh, there's just one file, everybody. Sorry, you gotta pass right. it around. So you know, you grow. You're like water. You flow into your space, right? So. Yeah. Be proud of your of your studio. And in the meantime, taking Kate's genius organization here. Well, it's all due to my friend Mary. For Who sure. cares? But it's genius. She was super. I mean, so it really does. So when I come home from teaching or traveling or doing whatever I'm doing, and I unpack all my stuff, I know that oh, all the bracelet dies go here. Oh, the bedding bezel setting punches I can throw them there so I'm not constantly looking so and here's the thing Kate mm -hmm. I get lazy I know where it all goes everything has homes <laughs> well share your space with your call you know I share the space with my colleagues right so right I really uh, see and this is a big mess down here don't even oh no it's it, perfect this is what mine looks needs, like <laughs> this hasn't even been unwrapped from the move but 
Um, but that's okay. You know, I'm picking my battles. But, you know, we, um, we really want to be as uh, organized or as respectful. Of but I mean, look at how organized space. she is over here even. Like, she's just got different chain pieces. You, she's got your label maker all these little... Is your friend. No. And raise things up. Yes, so you can, so you can see them. Underneath. Oh, okay, right, right, you know? right. Yeah, that makes sense. So Two levels. do little platforms. Yeah. Those are from Ikea. Yeah. And I don't know, like you said, Melissa, make things that are pretty. Like, I like using weird and look, little Look, she's got fun artwork things. and I do. everything. These paintings were made by. Um, look, she's my got another one yeah, over there. The Try third, not to spin you guys around yeah, too the fast. The third one is in my office. These were. Um, a gift from, from her. So and then she I also has, like, instead of cat posters, check these out. So we have, like, all these fun little things. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. So all these fun little inspiring things. You know, she has those all over the studio well, in here. It helps. Yeah, well, and it, it makes helps. it a fun environment yeah. to come in and work. Yeah. You know, it's a place that you would want to come in. Yeah. And see, that's the thing is, like, I know that in my studio, when it gets all messy, like, especially, so right now, my studio is a huge mess. When I got home from Tucson. I'm still, I don't know, completely <laughs> from Tucson. I kind of hit it in the Oh, corner. yeah, no, when I got home from Tucson, and then I got so sick that I just stayed in bed for, like, four days. And I, so what happened was I came home, brought everything, and dumped it, and went to bed. Well, I haven't quite unpacked everything. And then, of course, I've had various projects that needed to be done. And so I'll move things around a little bit just so I can get that particular project done. And so right now, not everything is back in its home. And I find, and I don't know if you're the same way, but I find that I get, uh, I call it like a work paralysis or yeah. a creative paralysis. Yeah. Like it's such a mess that I cannot work. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is when I go to put everything away, it's like, I, here comes my ADD. I'm like, oh, I love that project. Right. I should finish that. And then I'll start then, working on it. And then we, wait, wait, wait. Let me just, let me just file this I'm cleaning. Yeah. I'm cleaning yeah. and I'm putting yeah. things away. So I'll start to do that again. And then I find another project and I'm like, oh, I should work on this too. And then I'll start to work on this. Wait, wait, wait bring it back in so I find one of the things that I have to do and I don't know if you've ever done this I have to set a timer so yeah. I will set yeah. a timer for like 30 minutes and I can do nothing else and look at anything else for 30 minutes until I get it all put away no that's so funny you know when I have um uh two friends Art and Tammy they're a um a husband and wife team and some of you guys may know uh may have seen them on the different um uh you know forums and stuff so thank god for um art and tammy they help me when i um uh pack and stuff and so we uh art came up with this thing and i'm not sure where he got it but he says kate i'm gonna set a pomodoro and i'm like what's a pomodoro <laughs> art and i guess that's like a 25 minute it's some kind of like timing technique or something okay i think it's 25 minutes you set the timer and he goes i'm gonna do a pomodoro and you work as fast as fast as you can for, for that 25, 25 minutes. minutes my grand used to do the same thing except my grand would say honey i'm turning on the oven timer and you've got 20 minutes <laughs> to get that room clean <laughs> So, but it's totally true, setting that timer, um, because you can work, 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 and then you can give yourself a little bit of time. To play. Well, and when you know that you've mm -hmm. got that timer set, then I find that it helps me to stay focused, too. Yeah, that countdown. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. It's so funny. So I figured I would just show you guys a little bit more. I mean, look at this. I mean, she's got yeah, organization no, everywhere. That, not, that does not. That is, have it, I haven't even looked at that. Since oh, I don't even that. care. It's still organized. Look how pretty it it's, is. It's not that pretty. It's still very you. pretty. I've got some, I've got a little bit of work there. But it's coming along. You know, it's all a process. You can't beat yourself up too much. And we all are just doing as the best that we can. Well, and I think it's a process. Right. Like, you know, you said it. We, we talked about this a little earlier. So Kate and I were talking a little bit earlier. And we were kind of saying, all right, let's do this live video. And what should we talk about? What should we do? And I said, I don't know, I have no plans. And she goes, oh, I like that story. <laughs> you know, and that's kind of the story that I have. And that's, mm -hmm. and sometimes I think that that is also part of my, my difficulties is that I don't always have a plan. But I know that um, having a plan is a good thing. Well, I think that, Melissa, you have, and 
like what I keep telling myself through this creative journey. I think that you have a grand vision and the specific plans fall into place under the umbrella of that grand vision. Right. So that's, and that's okay. That's a good thing. Yeah. We don't want to be too stodgy. Right? <laughs> it's no fun to be too stodgy. No. There's no fun stodgy. in that at all. <laughs> no. exactly. exactly. Well, Kate, tell us a little bit about beadshop.com. Tell us what you'd like us to know. Sure. So, like Melissa said, and I'll put this right back up for you guys to see it, um, we do our broadcasts here at Bead Shop. We have been in business since 1992. Uh, Janice Parsons, who is our founder, uh, founded. We were a brick and mortar store um, and had stores all over the Bay Area. And in 2008, Janice closed the brick and mortars and became online only. So we've been online since the internet dark ages, since 1996, which um, for in internet years is crazy. Um, and That's so now, the year I got yeah. married. Oh, it was 1996, 1996 was a good year. It was a good year. <laughs> um, and so on those Wednesday and Friday broadcasts, every Wednesday and Friday at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time, um, we do. I do a project or our Fridays, our free dip Fridays is what we call them, are a little more casual. Um, but we sit, we chat, we uh, act like your hometown bead store, like you come and hang around the counter and ask questions and um, do a project. So it's really fun. We have a great, uh, a lot of fun. We have such a wonderful and amazing team here. So we're really, really lucky to work with such great people and um, to uh, be a part of such a great vision. So we're stoked about that. All right, and I will put that information also in the description of the video once we get everything all done. And probably I'll do that tonight yeah. when I have a chance to kind of settle down and whatever. I did mention you can, um, and then I'll finish my plug. Uh, if you want to be see what's going on with us, just go to beachhop.com and sign up for our newsletter. Um, we keep all that information private, um, and we send out our specials and what's going on here and all kinds of cool stuff. So... Um, you can just go, add your info, it'll be private, and you can stay in touch with us here at Beach Shop. Perfect. Anything else? No, yep. I think, I think that's all. I'll put on my glasses. Are we, we're done? We're yeah. going to be, we're going to be all professional? Yes. Oh, so. here we are. Look, here we are. Look at that. I'll take them off again. There you go. Thank you so much. Yes. This well, is thank amazing. You. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you. And I know that these guys liked it. So I'm sorry I didn't respond to like all the little comments. I was trying to like hold the camera still, walk around and not look stupid and not trip over it. Although I don't have to worry about tripping over anything. Her studio is like amazing. Wow. So, and I know that your goal too soon is to have classes yeah. here as well. Yes, classes will be up soon. So, and that's coming hopefully in April, Hi, May. April, May. Mm-hmm. Okay, so be watching out because then Kate will have other instructors come in and teach and then she will be teaching here as well. So there's going to be quite a bit that uh, they are going to be doing. And you guys, I didn't even show you. I think you can kind of see that. Look at that. With like she has like a whole, know, a whole shop. bead store. And there's like three or four rooms like that. So, so it's this times. is a destination place mm -hmm. right here. So you guys, thank you so much for joining in. And anybody wants to come help me organize, by all means, you come help me organize. I'm not going to turn that down. Okay. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me for Tool Time Tuesday. Sorry if the camera's all a little bit shaky or whatever. It's my phone. I'm doing it on my phone. <laughs> hey, you, um, Denny, you did not miss the whole thing. It will be available here on my YouTube channel. So you guys can watch this. This is my Tool Time Tuesday today. And we are totally doing it off the cuff all week long. So Weekend Jewelry School will be the same way. <laughs> so you guys, all right. You guys have a wonderful week. I'm going to be in heaven all this week. And I will... I'll definitely have some fun things to show you guys at the end of this. I'm really excited to share with you why I'm here, but just not now. Anyway, guys, take care. Have a good week. Thank you so much for joining me, and we will see you guys for Weekend Jewelry School.